today we got another one of Plato's most famous works. Hello fellow plot questers, it is I, Aaron the Plot Quester. And today I got play uh we got Plato by Plato. And well, let's get right on to it. So this book is about a guy named Phaedo talking about what happened when Socrates died. Socrates being one of the most famous, famous, famous philosophers of all time. And Plato was his well Plato was one of his disciples. And so was Phaedo, by the way, these are completely different people. And Plato himself wasn't even present when Socrates died. And Phaedo was present and what is talking about what happened. Apparently, Socrates in his final moments had actually discussed the death, the form, true forms, and souls before he died. Now, let's explain this out. Obviously, I'm not going to mention every little point, but I'm going to mention the main point. So, Socrates says that every philosopher should welcome death. And this is due to the fact that true philosophy, true philosophers should know that they are going to a better place after their soul goes to, goes to the heavens. Therefore, they should actually be excited for the surreal experience of death. Then the others say, hey, how do you know the soul exists after death? And Socrates says, the soul, we know the soul exists after death because the soul exists before life. Therefore, the soul and death isn't opposite concepts, like life and death. Then his disciples and him have a debate about souls. And he says that since true forms must exist, the soul must exist as well. And this is due to the fact that true forms are ideas or things that we cannot physically touch. And these things, like love or different kind of ideas or concepts, cannot be truly destroyed. And the soul alongside these should or cannot be destroyed and also the soul must come from before life because the soul probably wanted to learn things and that's why it came to life and and the soul and we as humans look for these new concepts we look for these new kind of ideas and and one of uh, Socrates' greatest concepts is that the human soul seeks knowledge due to the fact that before life, it used to know everything. Then, when it came into life, we forever want to see those perfect forms, those perfect ideas that the soul was once, once able to access when it was in soul form. Then, after we try our best, Finally, in death, we find out what the true idea is, and this is a Socrates concept. And Socrates says that finally, in death, he will be able to find out what truly happens. And when he dies, he actually dies with a very happy face, showing what kind of person he is, a true philosopher to the bone. And Plato basically talks of Plato, I mean Socrates, trying to, trying to say true forms exist. These ideas and concepts that are so new before it came to life. And the soul, since it did exist before life, cannot be destroyed by death. Due to the fact that since it existed before life, it isn't exactly equate to life, therefore not op opposite to death. Therefore death cannot destroy the soul. And finally, he believes that the soul gets all the knowledge in the world when it dies. Therefore, more or less, the soul is immortal and therefore the soul after death should go up to a good place a good place where all the ideas roam and there a true philosopher should be happy with his end with his or her end and that is the point that socrates is trying to make of course a lot of the young blood socrates disciples disagree with this and debates with him about it however for the specifics of that debate you're gonna have to read the book itself What's my opinion? I don't think true forms exist in life, and I'm not convinced that um, that the soul exists before death. Like for example, if the soul had been in a room or knew what all of these true forms are, then why did he even bother being born? If you know everything, then why did you become born in the first place to try to learn them again? Is that really necessary? Maybe the souls are bored or something, but does the concept of boredom even even exist in this soul idea world? I'm not too sure about that. Another thing is true forms. Let's think about it. 
Is there truly one correct idea? True forms, true forms are the embodiment of the exact thing that object is. For example, we think about a horse. Horse has four legs, can run fast, people can ride them, they can be black, brown, or white with a mane, or something like that. And that's the form of the horse, the idea, the concept of the horse. And that's what um, Plato, uh, Socrates is talking about when he says true forms. The true form of the horse will be all of these things. However, then we think about this, do the forms really come first? I believe, and actually Aristotle believed this as well, that forms are concepts created by humans, like all the ideas in the world, love or war or strife or all these different kinds of ideas, alongside with the basic concepts of something, what something should be, comes from human experience. Like, we don't know the concept, the true concept of what a chair should be, or what a horse should be, like I said in my example, when we are born. We don't know this. Then we um, see all these things, and let's, let's make an example. If, uh, if I see a dog fly, I would go crazy. I'd be like, what in the world? That dog's flying! But if a little kid saw a dog flying, they, they wouldn't know to be surprised because they don't know that dogs aren't supposed to fly. So I don't think that forms argument really makes sense in that case. Like, if you look at the logic, it's if this is true, then this is true. However, I'm not sure if that if this is true part really stands tall. And Socrates probably would debate me about this if he was still around. And I think that would be really fun. But that is what I sort of get about Socrates' concept of forms and his perception of death. And I think his perception of death is actually pretty cool. Like, like uh, you die and you go to heaven, you know? It's, it's just Greek religion at that point, like, you know, Hades and the underworld. But anyways, it is a really, really cool book. And you should read it if you want to think about death for whatever reason. And if you always have that existential crisis about death before you sleep, like I used to do like two years ago, then maybe reading this book will help get you out of it, using logic to scoop yourself out. And like always, your plot quester and the plot quester, you should read this book. It's, uh, it's a pretty fun read. Like it's in dialogue format, so it isn't as boring as the other philosophy books. And Socrates makes a good argument about his points. Have a good day.